Welcome back to Logitech. Today I'm gonna review this new Intel stock cooler. This new Intel stock cooler comes if you buy the non-K processor. Well, this looks better than the old stock cooler, even better than the black stock cooler, and it's heavier than the older stock cooler. It also has the copper a plate at the back of the cooler well overall it looks pretty nice okay let's test this cooler and see how much power that this cooler can handle starting with 65 watt power limit in 65 watt this Intel stock cooler doesn't have any problem at all. The temperature is only about 73 degrees Celsius. Going to 85 watt, the temperature now is about 85 degrees Celsius. Well, still acceptable, but if it's inside the case, it might be hotter. Last, I test with 100 watt. There is spikes to 100 degree, but overall running around 95 degree Celsius. Running at 100 watt seems really toasty already. Well, from the quick test just now, this cooler can handle up to 100 watt. 100 watt is already more than 90 degree Celsius, which is might be not pretty good if you put inside the case. Well, my suggestion is you can run your processor maximum up to 85 watt. Yeah, it's still around 80 degrees Celsius, which is acceptable even though if you put at the PC case. If you're using 12400 or 12400F, you no need to worry of using this stock cooler because when I test 12400F. The maximum power usage with a power limit is only 70 watt. And like 11400F which is consume 113 watt, it need extra cooler. It cannot use the stock cooler. Well, for 12th gen, you still can use the stock cooler unless you use K version or i7 above. For core i7, yeah, I don't think this stock cooler is enough. But if you okay with running only 85 watt, then you can use this stock cooler. Otherwise, you might be buying the cheap cooler like the Thermalrite Assassin X 120. Okay, that's the quick review for this stock cooler from me. If you like this video, please press like and subscribe. And don't forget to check the link in the description below. Thanks for watching.